Okay guys, so got Project uh, Junk S10 in the shop today. I had an issue with it, or having an issue with it. And uh, I'll, I'll give you a sound clip of what it sounds like. But uh, it didn't sound that bad at first. Uh, at first, it was just a little bit of a of a of a tick. I thought it was an exhaust leak, but I really don't think that's what it is. So I'm going to try to do an engine flush today. Just going to use some uh, some stuff I got at the auto parts store that you do before you change your oil. I'm going to try that and. If that don't help it, um, I might do something with some automatic fluid or something like that. But I'm just going to start out with the, the engine flush first. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the stuff I'm using. I'm just following the directions. Uh, exactly what it says. Uh, cold engine, 5 minutes run time drain the oil so we'll see how she does That's really nasty, guys. This truck is uh, apparently hasn't had the oil changed very often. <clears throat> Thought my grandpa did it quite often, but maybe he didn't. You can just see the sludge coming out of there. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. I may have to do this a couple times, guys. This is probably the worst I've ever seen, guys. That is pretty bad. Okay, so I've got all the, the oil drained out. 
and we did our flush. Our, we did our engine flush here. A lot of crud come out. So hopefully. Might have to do it another a second time here. I'm probably gonna do a short oil change on this thing. And we'll do another flush. Try to get this thing cleaned out. I'm gonna check my oil here, make sure we got her. We got her full. That is so clean, I can hardly see it. So, I guess maybe we've got it a little bit cleaner in there. Uh, the only thing that I, did, I, that I did differently than the direction said was I did let this drain all night so we could get all the all the ickiness and the cleaning fluid and stuff out of the oil pan so I did leave it sit and drain all night. So we'll fire it up here, see what she sounds like. Now before it ticked for a while and then once it warmed up it did go away. So we'll see what happens, we'll get her fired up, see what happens. So she did still tick a little bit, but not near, not near as bad as it was. I'm hoping that uh, get a few miles on this thing, um, the tick will be gone completely. But definitely uh, wasn't as loud and it wasn't as long either. It went away pretty quick. So I'm pretty happy with this. Like I said, probably going to do a quick a quickie oil change where I'll run this for a little while and then I'll do that flush again and uh, change the oil uh, fairly quickly. But so far I'm happy with the results here guys. Okay guys, so truck's been sitting probably two days now without being fired up so this should be a really good test and uh, if the, the noise, engine noise is gone or not.
So you can hear guys, I know I got some sun glare coming in here, but you can, you just heard absolutely no engine noise whatsoever. Uh, not even, not even a little bit of a tick. She just fires up, no engine noise. Uh, you can see good oil pressure, even at idle. Uh, temperature is, I mean, it just started, it just fired up, but we've got good oil pressure. Um, actually, I think my oil pressure might be a little better now than it was before. A little better, maybe. Um, but anyway, guys, you know, pretty amazed with this product. I didn't think it was going to work. Uh, I know a lot of guys say an engine flush will ruin a motor. The way I look at it, uh, I wasn't going to be able to run the truck the way it was for very long. You know, that with that engine noise, something wasn't getting oil. So, you know, it wasn't going to run very long without oil. This seems to have fixed it. Truck's got 93,000 miles on it. Like I said, I thought uh, my grandpa changed the oil quite often, but maybe he didn't. Uh, I know he did a lot of short trips. That could be part of the problem. Uh, he did a lot of short trips. That's, that's pretty much what he did in this truck. So, And then when my brother-in-law got it, I think he did the same thing. So I guess short trips are kind of hard on vehicles. So. You know, it is what it is. Uh, all I know is this sludge is probably the worst I've ever seen coming out of an oil pan. But, um, yeah guys, I guess, uh, I mean, I'm pretty impressed, like I said. Uh, no engine noise whatsoever coming out of this thing now. So, uh, there it is. I mean, I guess you can uh, do whatever you want to do with your vehicle. Uh, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the results here. I guess I'll see you guys. Mm -hmm.